welcome back to my channel uh, for today's video. I thought I would do a what's currently in my purse video. Um, I kind of forgot about these videos and then one of my favorite YouTubers, Learning to be Fearless, I uh, just recently did one and I was like, you know what, I used to love watching these videos. Anytime someone was like, what's in my purse? I'm like, girl, I wanna know. So I thought now would be a great time because I actually just recently went and bought a new bag. So this is just like actually a little backpack. I got it from Marshalls on sale. Let's see, here we go. Seriously, it was 24 bucks. I was like, okay. And I was looking for a backpack because I'm gonna be going to California soon. And I thought this one was would be awesome because it zips in the front and opens up, which will take all that out. Um, but it has the whole big pocket in the front. There's some little like organizational pockets as well. Um, and then it also has a convenient pocket in the front. So like I see myself, whoops, if I can't, okay. Hello, Kennedy, on the struggle bus already. I was zipping the tag up in it. <laughs> uh, there's also this front pocket, which I think will be really nice to like I can throw my phone in there and stuff when we're going on rides and it's small enough that I can keep it on my lap or like I could even squeeze it in between my legs while we're on rides so I feel like it'll be good but then one thing that I loved about it is it this is the back of it and it has another pocket in the back this pocket is just as big as the front pocket and it also has a little zipper pocket back here so I just thought that was really awesome because it will really give me the chance to throw my water bottle in there if I buy any souvenirs I can throw them in there It'll just give me a spot to keep all my stuff and then it conveniently goes on my back so I thought it was a cute little purse um but also I love that it's a backpack so yeah that is why I went ahead and bought it so at $24 I was like absolutely so I think this will be my new purse for a while I kind of like the idea of me of being able to hold it like this as I'm walking if I want um, or I can wear it on my back. So yeah, and these do hook off, cut, cut, come off the strap so I can just use it as like a little tote. <laughs> but I just figured I'd use it a ton and the price point was right where I was wanting it. So let me put my water down. Okay, so anyway, I thought this would be a good chance to do a what's currently in my purse as I'm transitioning over to my new bag. So let's hop right into it. This is the bag I got for Christmas last year. Wait, maybe it was two years ago. I can't remember. Either way, I've had it for either a year or two years. And trust me, it's still in great condition. It's the like the Aldo brand. And I think it's a really cute purse. I picked it out for Christmas. Um, and it's been awesome. It is starting to like fray around the buckles though. And it's just a it's a great bag. Like I'm gonna keep it and I'll I'm sure I'll switch back to it. But um, like I said, for California. I wanted to go ahead and switch over and I think the backpack will be super nice. So especially when I go to work, um, I feel like I'm bringing so much stuff and I have my lunchbox, I have my water bottle, and then I have my purse. And so it'll be nice to be able to throw my purse on my back and not have as much to carry in my arms. So that's why I went ahead and did it. So anyway, let's jump right in. The first thing I have in my purse are my keys. Maybe, there we go. I always keep my keys in my purse unless they're on my neck, but my keys are in there. My uh, staff badge to get into work to unlock the doors is in there. Um, of course, I have my wallet. Um, I like to keep like a cheap pair of sunglasses in my purse um, so that anywhere I go, I have some. So these are just like a $10 pair I got off of Amazon. And I just keep them in my purse so that I always have sunglasses. Um, with me wherever I go so I have that also I'm probably gonna not transfer all the stuff over to my new bag because this purse is jam-packed you know when a purse comes trash um, and it has a ton of organization then you're like oh my gosh I gotta throw everything in there oh Wendy's coupons cuz you know that's always good trash um okay here is my oh yeah this is fun this is my little post that I had when I got my nose pierced and they had to switch it out to a smaller one and I have that one so yeah that's my purse also I didn't clean my bag out before for this purpose hmm 
more trash wow okay this is gonna be like a lot of editing of me throwing trash on my floor um when i graduated from my hair school they gave me a little bracelet it's really cute so i never took it out of my bag and that's been about over a month oh look more trash okay here we go i keep a little adapter because you know iphone decided to take that whole thing out with our headphones and so i have my little adapter piece and then i keep my headphones in my purse because and apparently i throw my bag on the floor uh, no because i just like have my headphones with me at all times i have oh look aqua tat my tattoo ointment for whenever i got my tattoo that i actually did keep around me and i used all the time but now that my hat my tattoo is pretty healed i guess i can take that out and throw it away let's see oh a hair tie because that's crucial <laughs> Another hair tie because we like variety, you know what I'm saying? This and this both won't crease my hair, so I'm not sure why I have both. But like I said, variety. We like to have options. Um, that's it for that pocket. My bag has so many pockets, so bear with me. Let's see. Okay, this is basically my work pocket here. So I have pens for work. This one's actually trash, so we're going to throw it away. But this one I just better put in there. Um, that This is for my whiteboard at work. I don't like to leave it at work because people steal them. So, And I have my little headphone covers. This is all, like this is literally my work pocket. Let me just pull everything out here. Not very exciting. These are my old headphones that are broken, so trash. Wow, I have so much trash in here. Multiple pens, I guess, because again, we like variety. So I have lots of pens. And this is my little headphone mouthpiece that I keep in my bag as well. So that every time I go, I have one because people like to steal my shit. Oh, more trash. We're on to the next pocket. Oh, oh damn. This is my tattoo. My stick on tattoo that I got from the Love Lab Festival and I guess it came open. So it's no longer usable. A pad, cause yeah, that's necessary. Oh my gosh, this is the Trader Joe's balm. It's like an all over balm. You can use it everywhere. I keep this in my purse because it's amazing. And you just, it's literally just a balm. I can put it on a dry patch if I have it. I use it as chapstick mostly. I put it on my tattoos if they're looking dry and I forgot to put lotion on them. I literally just like to have it in there because I use it all the time. So if you don't have this, I'd recommend it, getting it. It was like, I don't know, three bucks. And I've only gone through one tub. And it's like halfway gone and I've had it for a while. So super awesome love trader joe's i got a little hand sanitizer that's empty so trash um oh this is my oh my gosh this is my to-go silverware set but as you can see the fork may have broke so it's not really useful anymore but i did use it a ton so apparently it just got broken in there but i guess that's trash now because Am I going to use the spoon and knife? Maybe, but I'm going to mostly need the fork and that's broken. So what's the point of keeping it in my purse? There's not one. Oh, <laughs> nail glue. Actually though, I stole this from my kitchen drawer and I don't really use it for nails. I just like to have it in my bag because it doesn't come loose. It like screws on, which apparently is stuck, but I like it because anytime I need super glue, something like breaks, I can use this and then you know, I can secure it more when I get home, but I just like to have this on me. I actually had it come in handy at work once. Gum, because that's also very crucial. This is a full bottle of Halloween hand sanitizer from last year, because I used my other one more. But now that that one's gone, more hand sanitizer, which comes in handy. Oh, look, another one that's pretty much gone. So trash. More gum. I only chew Trident. Like this Trident Spearmint, yeah, it's the only stuff I true. I, I true. It's the only stuff I true. It's the only stuff I chew because it's just the best tasting to me. Um, oh, yeah, I bought these on vacation once because I needed some Q-tips to clean out my ears and my nose piercing. And now I just keep them in there. And to be honest, I've used them. Sometimes they just come in handy when you need to. I don't even know. But they're there. So Q-tips. I like to have them on the go. Oh, it's a little sticker. This is from Love Loud too, but 
to be honest. It's been in my purse for like four months now and it's all bended. Bended. That's not even a word. I keep a comb in my purse because you never know when you're gonna need to brush your hair out and a brush is too bulky, but a comb slides right in. So that's a little tip trick for you. What's this? Oh, a pop socket that I was given. I won and it's never gonna be used, so trash. Um, mints. I forgot we're in there, but yum. So see, this is a good reason why you go through your purse as a reminder. Damn, I have so much hand sanitizer. Another one, this one's like full. So I guess I'll put that in and I'll have two now. If you ever need hand sanitizer, I got you. Guys, this you need, you need it to throw on the ground. Um, no, for real though, for girls and guys, if you get chub rub, that's what I like to call it, chafing, whatever, you know, that thing when your skin hits and rubs together and causes excruciating pain. Yeah, this cream, amazing amazing i use it all summer long i keep it in my purse <laughs> because you never know when you're wearing shorts and generally my skin has gotten like i used to get chub rub all the time but my skin's kind of gotten used to it and so i don't get it as often but occasionally you do you sweat it rubs this i use it under my arm sometimes also if i i use it to prevent chub rub but i also use it when i get it and it's like really painful i also okay sometimes i get it when my underwear rubs funny and i get a rash so put this on and it just like wipes it out. Like I put it on, like I'll cake it on before I go to bed and it like knocks the rash out. So I keep some in my purse and some of my vanity. So I have some on the go and I also have some at home. So that stuff tried and true. If you're needing something like that, that's the best one I've ever used. That's amazing. Um, I keep some lotion in there, of course. This is the, uh, the body shop coconut. I'm pretty sure I got it as a gift for my aunt. I think you can get it from Ulta. It smells really good. I love coconut, so that's amazing. I keep a little lip plumper, lip gloss in my purse, mostly just because sometimes you feel like shit. And I'm like, damn, I wish I would have put a lip color on because that does make a difference to me. So I keep one in my bag. That's one I don't use all the time, so it's nice to have in the bag. And then I have a little handheld mirror because it's so cute. My grandma gave this to me one year for Christmas, but it's like a nice little one because sometimes you just need a mirror desperately. Check your teeth, check your makeup, whatever. So that's nice to have in my purse. And I just had it in my purse, honestly, for like the last six years since I got it. So, oh my gosh, we're almost done. Oh, this is disgusting. Okay, this is the third one I pulled out and thrown on the floor. So apparently I was super excited about them and then I never used them and now they're all ruined. So that's sad. Okay, this is gross. My little sisters got, <laughs> okay, they got, what is it called? Oh, jelly beans. Yes. And I really like the coconut ones. And so my sister pulled all the coconut ones out for me, which is so sweet. Thank you, Katie. And then I put them in my purse because I was like, oh, I'll eat them at work. And I never did. So I guess I'll throw those away now. So I had a bag of jelly beans. That I would not have expected was going to be my purse. I forgot it was there. <laughs> so yum. Oh, a ghetto tampon. Get out of here, girl. Oh, hey -o. Some loose change. Oh, I got myself some, I got myself eight cents because I'm a rich bitch. So, all right, we're almost, oh, I have, I've got to have a whole other pocket. Cause this, okay, so I, there, I kept stuff on this pocket, this pocket, I kept stuff in here, in this zipper one, in here. And I'm going through the little side pockets and then I have this zipped one still. This purse is awesome. I forgot how much storage it has, which means I store more shit. Okay. Perfume. This is the best selling perfume ever. This is the Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. Mm, it smells so good. And I'm sure you guys are so surprised. I'm gonna put some on. So surprised that I like a Taylor Swift perfume. Weird. No, but I just like this one's like a roll on so I can keep it in my purse and use it if I'm sp smelling stinky. So, oh my gosh, keep my drugs on me because I'm an addict. I'm just teasing. If I can get it out. Oh my gosh, it's so stuck. Never had this problem before. Here we go. I keep my ibuprofen. Seriously, it looks like prescription drugs, but it's just my ibuprofen because you never know when that period cramp's gonna hit, that headache comes on. So I always keep that. And my friends can attest, you ask me and I always pull that bottle out. Kennedy always knows that I have my ibuprofen on me. This is a mascara wand or an eyelash wand from when I had extensions and I don't anymore, so. Thanks for reminding me. And then apparently I decided that I really, oh my gosh, 
I have more hair ties. Two more. Well, apparently I like, oh my gosh. I have another one of these. I really like options, I guess. I have every type of hair tie in there, so I guess if you need a hair tie, let me know. And I also, yesterday I decided that I really wanted my crystal lights in my bag, so I threw a bunch in there. And you know, I don't ever use them, but they're gonna go right back in my new purse because I still think that's a great idea. Keep those on you, they have energy. I just don't ever use them. But then there'll come a day when I'm like, oh my gosh, thank God I have them in here. So, you know. Kleenexes, see? I, I have a lot of crap in my bag, but I'm learning that I'm prepared, so that's awesome. Got some Kleenexes. Here we go. I was wondering why I had a random pad floating around my bag. Probably because I took it out of here. This is my preparation bag. I keep my pads. I have a tampon in there. And I like to keep it zipped up in my cute little Ipsy bag so that I can grab this and walk to the bathroom and nobody will know. So that's my little secret there. And the last thing in my purse, it's empty now. Woo! Is my notebook because you never know when you're gonna need paper and it's empty I don't write anything in it but I actually have grabbed stuff because you know when your places and you're like oh, I wish I had a piece of paper right now got you covered um, but I don't know if this will actually end up in my new purse or not because that one has so much stores that I think I was like oh let's just throw it in there but now I don't know so now that is my bag look at that one second <sighs> Ew, that was gross <clears throat> that was a big sniff. I'm thirsty as well, so give me two seconds. I think I might be getting sick. My nose is starting to get runny. But only on one nostril. I hate when that happens. Anyway, that is a full video of what was in my purse because I assume you guys cared to know everything that I keep in my bag. So there you go. If you didn't wanna know, now you do. <laughs> but I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. As we're getting closer to fall, we're actually finally getting into the groove of it. I have so many fall video ideas that I'm so excited to film. So get excited, new content, fall content, because I'm a fall hoe and I love all things fall and pumpkin. And I'm gonna try my very first pumpkin spice latte. Um, yeah, there's just gonna be exciting things to come. So stay tuned. My countdown has already begun for October 1st when I can finally watch Hocus Pocus for the first time this season, because I'm an addict, but yeah. Anyway, I'm still talking. Surprising. I know. I don't ever shut up. But thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss all my other videos that come on. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.